Welcome back to Smash D20, a show where I take a look at the cast of the Super Smash Bros. series of games and try to make them playable characters for your D20 campaign. This time, I'm going with Mr. Nintendo himself, Mario Jumpman Mario. Now in Smash D20, I don't look at the rest of the characters' lore, only what they are capable of in the Smash Brothers games, whether or not that actually makes sense. So for Mario, we have a stocky individual who's decent at punching, but his real main event is his ability to command fire. We're basically looking at an unarmed fighter who can hurl some fire from time to time. So, knowing what we're getting into initially, let's go! To me, Mario strikes me as a multi class of monk and kineticist, a class from Pathfinder, which is my. Pathfinder is my preferred tool because I use it a lot. I'm very familiar with Pathfinder. So. That's what I'm using. Monk, Kineticist, Multiclass. If we're talking Kineticist, it's going to have to be the fire element, obviously. Level 1 Monk will give you the unarmed strike and a couple of tricks right off the bat to really cover the punching aspects of Mario's nature. The same goes with level 1 Kineticist and the simple flame blast ability that Kineticists are capable of. Well, the fire kinesis, anyway. Mario's abilities can just be boosted at your discretion with uh, how much levels you want to put in Monk or Kineticist or anything else, really. If you don't want a pure Mario build, you can play around a little bit more with levels. But obviously, the more levels you put in Monk or Kineticist, the more benefit you'll get from it. As for gear, Mario doesn't seem to have any special armor or weapons, preferring to strike unarmed and just wearing overalls and a shirt. I mean, one could say that the, the jean overalls may provide a little protection, but that's going to be between you and your DM. Work that out. As for special equipment, Mario is pretty quick on his feet and really good at jumping. So to enhance that to the proper levels, I'd give him Boots of Striding and Springing, which along with later Monk abilities, provide greater moving speed as well as a higher jump, as it increases your acrobatics. Acrobatics is a skill you're going to want to get as high as you can so you could jump up Superstar. Mario's Super Cape is interesting. To simulate something like that, perhaps there's some kind of cloak of reflection or something like that that can... that can dispel or even bounce back certain spells or something. When it's coming to more mundane projectiles, Mario can knock those aside with the deflect arrows monk ability. Lastly, for Mario's gear, we have his flood which could be simulated with a special pack on his back capable of casting the water push spell. It doesn't really do any damage, just like it does not in Smash, but it will move people around the battlefield, which is exactly what you do with Flood. This was a shorter episode, because Mario really isn't that complicated. But, it was fun to try to find simulations to his um, unusual equipment. This was a real easy episode for the new year, and I hope that 2020 has been good to you so far, and I hope it continues to be good for you, and until then, this has been Smash D20, and until next time, stay smashing!